What is up guys, Poncho Cortez, and today I'm going to be covering the Iron Heritage Model T Wax Pomade Hairdresser. Now, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, sorry if I've been off for a while guys, but my hair has been super long, so I just barely got a haircut today. This is it right now. And so yeah, I really reduced the size before it used to be up to my mouth, now they've reduced it up to my nose, which is freaking sweet. So now I could be able to wear more, uh, you know, oil-based pomades and other pomades. So I could be I'm back to reviewing again. Thank God. Um, aside from that, though, this is it. So this one I got sent a couple weeks back. You know, it's a really good pomade. I've been experimenting with it for a little bit. The water base and the oil base, and they're pretty good. Pretty good. And uh, yeah. So this hairdresser itself, uh, I like the design of it. It's very. Um, it's got a pre-World War II design on it. It's almost, it looks like it almost has some German influence to it just because it has a black bird on it, which is very common with, uh, with German design. They love black birds, you know. Pre-World War II, that is, you know, even po even uh, during World War II as well, but for obvious reasons, you know. So there's that, and then on here are the directions. So it is the Iron Heritage Mo Model T, a hairdressing pomade. Its scent is a pipe tobacco with a hint of, hint of vanilla, which I did get. And I like that a lot because a strong a strong um, tobacco scent isn't that present where it's really overbearing, but you can definitely pick up on the tobacco and the vanilla. And they, they're a good, they complement each other very well because you, you don't get too much bitterness from the tobacco itself, but you also don't get too much sweetness from the vanilla. So, you know, they... They complement each other, and you know they do. They, they're perfectly well together. Um, they recommend shampooing your hair one to two times a week and condition daily with a professional grade product. Uh, for me, I use Tresemme. Um, that one I like a lot, and it's wielding some good results. The shine in this sucker is very, very good. I have to say, this is a great pomade hairdresser. I wouldn't recommend it though if you're building a pompadour per se, but it does a pretty damn good job if you're going for a 1930s hairstyle or just a standard slick back. It, it does it very well. I like it a lot, you know, because um, I'm going to be in the school production of Hamlet, which um, our rendition takes place in the 1920s, and I'm trying to go for the Rudolph uh, Valentina look, and this does it very well. It's got a healthy shine to it. It's still an oil-based pomade, so it gives it that tight grip. Nothing too tight, but it's got a good medium grip to it, which I do like. So there's that. Um, this is it. This is the appearance of the pomade itself. It's kind of hard to open. I don't know why. You have to get it open from all sides. So this is me opening it right here. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, I used it earlier, and you know, application is not even that hard. So this is it right here. It's nothing too bad. Um, when I first opened it, if you watch my unboxing of it, um, there was glitter in it originally that helps give it its shine. And yeah, I honestly would recommend this oil-based a lot. It's really good. I find it a lot better than the Murray's New Nile hairdresser. You know, they've got their, um, their equivalent in grip, but scent-wise, you know, if you're looking for a fine tobacco scent in a pomade, this is your this is the pomade to get because what I found is a rich tobacco scent is very, um, I think it's a lot better than, like, say, an herbal scent because with a tobacco scent, it gives it more of a manly. You know, if you're, you know, you're a testosterone-driven male and you're looking for something that's going to give you that rich tobacco scent without, like, you know... The bitter stinkiness to it, this is it right here. This is the pomade you're looking for. And I gotta say, it's a great pomade to use and to wear. I like it a lot. I would definitely recommend using it. Application is easy. Um, uh, when I put it in my hair, you know, it wasn't even that bad. The shine is excellent, you know. This is a very, very good shine. I love it. Absolutely love it, you know. Since I'm starting to kind of go back, going back to slick, to slick back now, you know, it's perfect for that. You know, since it's summertime right now, you know, hair melts easily, and if you're going to get a slick back, this is definitely the product to do it with. You know, you could you could go to your classic Murray's, but it just doesn't have, um, it just doesn't have the feel like Iron, Iron Heritage does, honestly. And I would recommend this product a lot, you know. It's definitely up there. Aside from that, you know, the uh, it just has your standard ingredients to fin to close off. Uh, white petroleum, beeswax, uh, 
Acetyl alcohol, uh, coconut oil, avocado oil, fragrance, and vitamin E. They also recommend that you store in a cool place, obviously, because you know you don't want your pomade kind of like um, being ruined. They were so aside from that though, that is your that is the pomade itself. It's really good. Um, aside from that, I'd say this is one of my favorite fragrances ever that I've experienced in a pomade. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more reviews. Oh, by the way, guys, before I leave, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, check out any more videos I got below. Uh, check me out on Instagram. I'm going to have my account down at the bottom, Vinyl Vato Cortez. I'm going to have it down in the bottom. I'm gonna, I'll definitely update you guys with new pomades I get in, reviews that I'm going to be doing soon, and just other upcoming things I got going on. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.